Hello, hello. <laughs> we have been away for a little bit, um, not just since we didn't post the last week, but we've been away from the mic yep. for an even longer bit of time. So <laughs> we're finally back. We're and finally back. Sometimes shit happens, but we're back. Yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 there may be some uh, missteps here and there without an episode, but we'll always come back. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, but anyways, today we watched Black Panther. Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever. Black Panther, <laughs> Wakanda Forever, the sequel, um, which was kind of boring, honestly. Boring? A bit. Yeah, <laughs> I thought so. Wait, I want to start this episode with a joke really quick. All right. All right. Did you know that the Mortal Kombat theme was based on an old Scandinavian prayer song? Mm-mm. It's a finish hymn. uh huh <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was a good joke. I stole that from my friend. All right. Back to uh, Black Panther. I could see how it would be boring. I I, I enjoyed it actually quite mm-hmm. a lot. I think for a Marvel movie, it took ris- more risks that I wouldn't expect, I guess. Like, I don't know. Like, I think it was, it was always going to be an awkward movie coming off chadwick boseman's death you know Mm -hmm. and apparently they had the screenplay like finish before he even died so like in the wake of his death they had to rewrite it yeah so so do you think so i guess like he he maybe would have fought namor i mean it's hard to tell what the first thing was but yeah yeah i think that like namor they i'm pretty sure they've said that namor was always supposed to be the villain i thought What's the girl who, all right, what's the main girl's name? Shuri. Shuri? Yeah, okay, Shuri, Shuri, his sister. Yeah, Shuri. I thought Shuri like, held okay. a better leading role this movie than a supporting role last movie. I don't think, but but the girl who was Ironheart was not a very compelling character. <laughs> but I she do, was kind of just I just, like I just, I just felt, I just felt it, it's, it sucks because, um, yeah, but like, like, what was her point? <laughs> like, I mean, I guess she like made the things where, I don't know. Yeah, she made the like vibranium detectors. She she was more of a uh, like a plot point than a character. Yeah, that's true. She like really didn't have any sort of arc or anything. Mm-hmm. But I thought she, and, <laughs> she and was the, funny. The, the whole, I liked the whole, her personality. The whole cast is a little bit of just. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's coming off of like the first where with like the first movie you have like like all the characters that were in the first one that are now leading this movie Mm -hmm. have been promoted to like leading roles instead of their side characters. And it was like, how effective was that in carrying the movie? I guess. I don't, I don't think it was a train wreck by any means. Namor was cool. Namor was cool. I think like I, I liked, I kind of wish Atlantis was more like glamorous. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. I, I, I I did want to make the disclaimer as well that like, Yes, I know it's Talukan, but in the comics it's Atlantis, so I'm yeah. gonna call it Atlantis. Yeah, it's Atlantis. <laughs> but I, uh, I don't know. It's off of the coming off watching like Young Justice and stuff when they go to Atlantis. I'm like, oh, Atlantis is so cool. And then in this one, I'm like, eh, they got whales, I guess. <laughs> they barely even like spent time that much time in Atlantis, but like. Yeah. The design of everything was cool, and yeah, I agree. all the costumes were cool. Like the like that were were they Mayan? Is that what they said? Yeah, I think so. Like that kind of like Mayan art, like architecture in the water was pretty cool. Yeah, that like the Middle America, South America culture kind of stuff. Was, yeah, mm-hmm. I thought really really cool looking. But I did want to go back to like Shuri as a character. Like I I it was compelling for me because. Just like everybody else in the world, like also is like she is dealing with the death of her brother. Yeah. And like we as an audience had to deal with like moving on, like, oh, we're not gonna have Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther, right? So yeah. I felt like that was just relatable and just like dealing with death, I guess. And how I liked like, okay, spoilers, I guess, that she's the new Black Panther if, if nobody saw that coming. But I kind of like how when she's going into the final battle, like she's become Black Panther, you're like, I don't know if she's really ready for this. Like, yeah. 
I don't know. I liked that aspect as well. She, she went. Yeah, I think this was one of the few movies that, Mar- like, where the character in a Marvel movie like really comes close to that line of like killing somebody. Hmm. Like, and quite, like making that like consciousness. I'm sure there's. I mean, there's a lot of scenes where like, yeah, they probably killed that person, but like, it's not like. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like when Batman like shoots up the building with his Batmobile. You're like, you might have killed someone there, Batman. <laughs> yeah, Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah. Or in the car chase in the new Batman, where like he just explodes explode. through the car. And <laughs> yeah, shit. on the highway, like you definitely killed at least two car full of car, car fulls of people, Batman. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> But uh, her arc was also very similar to the arc of Black Panther when we first saw him in Civil War, where like was that where we first saw him? Uh huh. And remember, really? uh, that's how Zemo long ago was killed that? 2016. Wow, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Because <laughs> remember, Zemo killed his dad, and then at the end, he's like, "I'm not gonna kill you," like. <laughs> Yeah, I will spare you. That's true. So that like, so sure, he kind of had a similar arc to that, I guess. Like the revenge what isn't was, the what answer was, arc. What was Milton Friedman's character in the first one? I kind <laughs> of remember him. I thought he was the guy with the fucking like robot hand that they. No, that know. that's Claw. That's fucking Andy Circus. Yeah, yeah. No, Martin Freeman's Agent Ross could have been cut out entirely. Mm-hmm. I was. The whole point was to set up Thunderbolts because Contessa is like the the new Nick Fury, I guess, for the Thunderbolts. What was the Thunderbolts? It's like the 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 Dark Avengers kind of. Remember we talked oh, about? Oh yes, the... yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> if you just say Dark Avengers, it will it will, it will it will do that spark in my mind a lot better. <laughs> like they announced the roster and they they all have the exact same powers except for the one lady that can phase through stuff. But other than that, they're all just Captain Americas. So that so the girl with like the purple line in her hair. Yeah, she's like the new Nick Fury, I guess, for the Dark Avengers, for the Thunderbolts. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so that that's the whole reason they were in this movie was to just slap that in there for the for the world building. <laughs> okay, I guess everything had its contextual. Dude, it's, it was a long movie. I think you cut out. Like, you're not gonna get a full forty minutes back, but <laughs> I think you gotta cut out the parts with Contessa and Agent Bro, it's, Ross. It's, I'm sorry, it's, that was. It's hard to make a movie that long entertaining. I feel like. Mm-hmm. No, I feel like they like, could have like, had. We, we've said this before. I, mean, I don't know if if we've said this before on the podcast, but he, like the Batman recently, where it's like I like the movie a lot, but like that's a hard movie to ever want to rewatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, well, this was my second time seeing this yeah. movie, <laughs> <laughs> and I did not get anything out of my second viewing. <laughs> All right, that's good to know. <laughs> so yes, but what was I going to say? Oh yeah. I was thinking that like maybe when I was watching it and at the end, I mean, maybe more middle when Namor attacks Wakanda and the queen dies. Mm -hmm. I thought that Shuri was just going to be like, oh, the like thing is in this bracelet. Let me go real quick. Whip up my Black Panther herb and fight you here like i don't know maybe it would have been rushed but Mm -hmm. it would have helped the movie not be two two hours and 40 minutes yeah but maybe they i don't know that's another thing too that it like so is uh, so obviously they namor is using wakanda now like they are uh, so there's a peace treaty now they like had that whole conflict and now he's like oh maybe we'll do something against the earth world so like does he work with I always thought he was like more of, I guess he's kind of an anti-hero still in this movie. Namor is known as like the first anti-hero ever portrayed in comics. So, I don't know. In the comics, usually it's just Wakanda and Atlantis are always like at odds. They always hate each other. Yeah. And that's a big part of like the Secret Wars arc in Avengers and New Avengers Mm -hmm. is that they're like, even though that black panther and namor have to work together to like try and prevent these incursions from happening like Mm -hmm. there's still that like tension going on in the background that like oh namor's only out for atlantis and Mm -hmm. black panther is going to keep the best interests of wakanda in mind so they're always kind of like even though they're they have a similar goal that 
there's some tension there, you know? Yeah. So I feel like that they're fine setting that up going forward, I think. Like, yeah. I feel like they'll always have that sort of tension, which will be interesting. And Namor is so cool in Namor Secret is, Wars, Na- too. Like, I don't know much about Namor, but I like Namor. He looks cool. The wings thing is cool. Yeah. The first mutant. <laughs> <laughs> he is the first mutant. He's not... So, he's not the first, like, in canon mutant, basically, but he's the first I thought he, published mutant. Like, the I thought first, he was in canon. Who's... Well, like well, he's well, pretty like, early in well, canon, right? Technically, like Apocalypse and Wolverine predate him. Like, but if you're going from like, when was Wolverine born? I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> but, but I thought Wolverine was human, and then he no, became he, Project X. But he was a mutant before. Like, oh, you're right. You're right. Because he went through all the wars and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah. But like his his actual birth date, I don't think has ever been like actually confirmed. At least in in the comics, at least. But he was a kid during like, <laughs> like not. But I know his memory got wiped. <laughs> when when is his actual? <laughs> when was he actually born? But isn't it in like canon that he's like he had? Because wasn't the origins based off of like comics? Then they had like so, kind of that <laughs> similar thing where he was a kid, like in like I don't know, like the 18th century or some shit like that. I think so, but also like I'm I. I don't know if Namor was as old as, as he, he is was in the in comics mo- as yeah. he is in this movie. Huh. Cause I, I did I did try and do some research that like it they did say that Namor is the first mutant ever published to Marvel. So like Okay. If that makes sense, like yeah. the first published mu- mutant, but like if you're going timeline, Apocalypse was in like ancient Egypt, so apocalypse would predate him you're right yeah even if wolverine didn't but the one article that i read said wolverine does predate him in the comics i wonder how they're gonna do x-men well this was the first time that they've ever like actually said that the character was the mutant because in 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 the miss marvel show it spoilers for that (laughs) (laughs) if you care they they're like, oh, it's not the bracelet that's giving you your powers like we thought. Like, we found something in your genes, a sort of mutation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, and then it does the... In, oh, it in does the... Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. In the background. <laughs> and then... My God, fan service out the fucking <laughs> ass, bro. Well, that's what I'm thinking about when they like roll in the X Men too. Are they just gonna make that '90s theme song the, the theme song? Like, like there, there's part of me that's like, oh, because they already have such a good cast. They had a good cast with the originals, and honestly, the cast of First Class was really good too. Uh, mm-hmm. Michael Fassbender and I always forget the other guys. Name. James McAvoy. James McAvoy are fucking really good leads, and there's other. I'm trying to think. The guy who plays Beast isn't isn't bad. Hugh Jackman's fucking in it, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mystique, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer is Lawrence, solid. yeah, you're right. She's really good. Sansa, whatever her name. She's she's all right. Yeah, we didn't really get to see her in in the good ones. Oh, in the past. Um, Quicksilver. Quicksilver, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Evan Peters. Peters. Uh, Evan Peters, yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, they're good. So like I don't want them to go too bit far back with it. Like, I don't want them to, like, recast things, but then it's like, oh, man, this is, like, the third iteration I think... of X-Men. And, like, the <laughs> yeah. other two are really good. Like, I mean, it, they had their low points, sure, but, like, they're they're genuinely enjoyable. I think we're going to figure out what the, like, state of the Fox X-Men universe is in Deadpool 3. Yeah. Because I feel so? like, well, Deadpool is not in the main MCU, so they're going to have to, like roll him into the timeline i think that's going to be part of secret wars is going to be like making deadpool part of the timeline yeah but deadpool 3 comes before secret wars and then like i don't know i'm hoping that that like they establish that deadpool takes place in the fox x-men universe and that's why hugh jackman's coming back so maybe they'll like explain a little bit about like maybe they'll give these characters a proper ending before moving on Hopefully. Hopefully. (laughs) (laughs) It would be cool if they did. They probably won't, though. But they probably won't. One thing I was thinking, because the the soundtrack, 
was i mean it's uh, just coming off of the first movie it was a lot more pronounced and like revered and it was cool that uh was it it was kendrick lamar did it right or, in the first one yeah, yeah 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 and i remember it was cool like it was a lot of it was original stuff for it right Can yeah yeah correctly? yeah he like produced most of the uh, the licensed music i guess for the movie and it was a lot more upbeat yeah well this one this, also this one, this one didn't have I don't know. It just felt like it was in an awkward place after the passing of Chadwick Boseman, which sucks. Like it was, it was, I don't think it was, I think if it was more upbeat, it would have been tonally like mismatch because yeah. it is like a melancholy, somber movie. Like I can understand how you thought it was boring because I feel like that's a fair criticism because it is trying to be like a little more, like it is a depressing movie kind of like if you mm-hmm. go in think like expecting your typical Marvel action fight movie. Like there's not really a whole lot of fight scenes in this movie. Yeah. So I understand the criticism. It's like a little allegory for like conflict (laughs) (laughs) and grieving over death. Exactly. War is bad. War is bad. (laughs) (laughs) Taking a country's natural resources, probably bad. (laughs) <laughs> going to war with the fish people not a good idea <laughs> that was another thing too so like mbaku who also i thought i really liked too who was mbaku the the gorilla chief guy oh yeah that yeah. like challenged him in the first one yeah i i liked him he, I, liked I thought he was character. funny yeah i agree <laughs> like i think going into this movie any of the supporting characters would have been a good choice to be the next black panther like, yeah I feel like they were all pretty solid, but with M'Baku, he kept mentioning like how outlandish he thought the fish man was and also, how he like, I, I, I just want to say how they like, he like, doesn't he mention that they like ride killer whales and stuff? And it's like, well, Wakanda has battle rhinos. Like, yeah. How outlandish, <laughs> how outlandish is like a whale <laughs> for this underwater <laughs> civilization? Good like, point. Good point. <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off. No, that no, that's that's a good point. Um, oh God, dude, I it's it's so hard of remembering what you what you're trying to say sometimes. <laughs> um, did you notice the the subtitles? I thought that was a good little attention to detail there. I guess. Yeah. How like all of the uh, all of the dialogue spoken in the Atlantean language was in blue text and then all everything in wakandan was in yellow no oh, i didn't realize oh that, really actually. yeah yeah it's neat and then everything in like, like they speak like, was like white. they white yeah they speak like french and spanish i think a couple of times and that's in white tech or white yeah the font is in white hmm. i didn't catch on to that and then also a little uh god of war easter egg the dude that w- that played the like the u.s I don't know, ambassador guy that was at the UN and then he was talking to that girl that like it was the, the three the, people at the UN. It was the yeah, guy, yeah, the yeah. girl, and then the queen. Yeah, the the like bald guy uh-huh. plays Odin in the God of War game. The nice. one that just came out. <laughs> nice, <laughs> so, nice. Just wanted to throw that out there too. Okay. So at the end, or so they 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 we mentioned that they make a big deal about how Shuri shouldn't kill namor like i don't know that that that's her like character conflict at the end is she sees fucking michael b jordan who was a good cameo by the way too. Yeah. i'm glad they brought him back yeah that was cool uh how did he die i don't remember remember they, they okay had that's the... that's what i was gonna say i remember <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> i was gonna say this movie also i think a big part of it why it was boring for me is as someone who like doesn't regularly like stay in line with like what's going on with marvel or like has like a deep like bank of shit that happened so many of the characters came up in this movie where i was like i i don't know who you are <laughs> <laughs> well i actually was wondering about that i was like all right i'm i'm the <laughs> the marvel <Yeah>. show <laughs> i i'm keeping track of everything going on there was what a lot of the, there was like... a lot of times where like i i totally i did not i if i I don't remember at all Ch- or Chadwick Boseman characters, the like Black Panther having a girlfriend at all, <laughs> like in the slightest. Yep, she's in it. 
uh, the general girl, I kind of remember her. Then the Okoye. person. Then the Okoye person. is in like Infinity War and Endgame and stuff. Okay. So. And then like the girl she's with that they kind of like show at the end or like she goes and saves Sherry. I don't remember her at all. Oh, wait. Was that the same one? I don't even remember, man. <laughs> Milton Friedman, I kind of remember it only because like I like Milton Friedman a lot. Martin Friedman. Martin Friedman. Jesus. Yeah. I like him a lot as evidenced by my not. You should go. You guys should watch. Um, <laughs> the Hobbit. <laughs> not The Hobbit. Um, Isn't he? Fargo. In... Oh, the okay. first season of Fargo. I haven't seen that. Yeah. I need to watch it. It's on the list. Because sometimes I've that. I think it so much. I'm like, God, what's the name of that movie? Shit. <laughs> it's a series. It's a good series. No, I was wondering Billy about. Bob Thornton's in it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then I Ewan McGregor is in like, the, uh, I think season two. Or three. I haven't watched a lot of. I haven't watched all of it, but the stuff that I have, it's good. On the list, on the list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was wondering with like, with with all the all the side characters, would would the casual audience remember them uh, or like keep them in mind? Yeah. Um, but what I was what I was uh, saying was when so it like so she sees Michael B. Jordan's character. Oh, you asked how he died. Yes. Remember yeah. in the um, <laughs> remember there was like the Xbox cutscene fight at the end of the last movie on the train on on the. I like, remember that he dies in that. Yeah, he dies there. How? Um. Well, because they use the like vibranium shielding thing that they use to run the train to like deactivate his suit, and I'm pretty sure he gets stabbed or something. Not by. Black Panther, though. Yeah, and then they like go up, and he just like watches the sunset and and dies. <laughs> and they like they like watch the sunset together, and he's like, oh, "I'll die on my own." Yeah, <laughs> I can. I I don't remember that at all. To like, I for me, I I think I like. Oh, I also let me go back to <laughs> what I was saying. The uh, so it, uh, Shuri's whole character arc was about how like. She shouldn't take revenge and kill Namor, right? For the mom dying. And she... And like letting go. Right? Yeah. yeah. But then whoever is... No, uh, Namora doesn't die fighting Ironheart, but Okoye totally kills Atuma. Like, why was she able to kill yeah. the Atlantean person? But sure, he's not allowed to kill Namor. <laughs> I get Good it point. that like... They they do mention that Namor they like view him as a god and it would be like eternal conflict for them but but still I'm pretty sure a lot of the re residents of Wakanda hate the Atlanteans and the Atlanteans also hate the Wakandans so yeah. like I'm pretty sure there's no one doing that at this point yeah with like in the views of the people at least I wish they used sharks instead of they should have had some sharks that would have been cool <laughs> there's no blood but they can't have blood in the movie or anything right. It was kind of brutal at the end, though, when she was fighting Namor, like scratching him up and ripping yeah. off his wing and lighting him on fire. Chill. <laughs> that got that got kind of violent. Yeah, that did get a little bit violent. <laughs> but I don't know. Just when I see like total warfare, I'm supposed to believe like total warfare. Just seeing like people like, get splashed with Phew. water, they're like, ah. <laughs> the water the, bombs the water are, are pretty cool. I do, I do. I was gonna say, even though it's not as the water bombs are cool, but yeah. I d it just wasn't that like. I didn't really care, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was... and the whole city was like getting attacked by water. I was like, eh. <laughs> think about like. I was trying to think about this when we were watching it. Like, if if there was an underwater civilization, though, like they wouldn't really have traditional explosives, right? Because it wouldn't be able to like ignite underwater. So like the water bombs kind of make sense. Yeah. That, like. I don't know, maybe since water is non-compressible, they somehow use the fucking, what's it called? Vibranium to like compress it and make these bombs that explode with crazy amounts of water. That actually makes sense. <laughs> I don't know, I was just trying to work out the science. I mean, I think I think it's a cool idea and I think it fits with them, but it's still, they could have made it more, I don't know. It's, it's it has They could have made it more graphic. They could have made it more graphic. <laughs> That's what I want, <laughs> but like, it's they had to keep it at the level good for Disney and the Marvel brand, right? Yeah, yeah, true. 
I'm too desensitized. I need desensitized. <laughs> I need like violence and insanity in everything I consume. Otherwise, I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> nobody died in this movie man fuck this no one's heads getting ripped out with their spines still attached uh, okay so you know the area that the queen died mm -hmm. why was there like this little toilet hole and the queen's like <laughs> wait what they, like why was there like this huge pool of water underneath of them like this little fucking like hole and then the like the, the normal room like the glass shattered and there was didn't did the was it not just like a pocket underneath and when the bombs exploded like yeah all the why water did they have a little there? fucking pocket there i don't understand <laughs> i don't know and they got like swept in there like they're like fucking turds in a toilet <laughs> i didn't even think about it like that and i'm like why is there so much water underneath them <laughs> i thought they were like up above on the fucking like ceiling they didn't flood wakanda no, I thought that all the water came from the bombs because he threw a yeah, bunch of the water. Yeah, but how much water? Like, come on, there. like that. <laughs> but still, that still raises the question: Why is there just a hole right behind the throne? There's just like maybe it was a good view. It was like a decoration <laughs> for <Yeah>. some reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even think about that. That is pretty stupid. I was very. I thought. I, I kept thinking about that when I was watching that scene. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I can't wait for all these. This th three-hour movie, then we got Avatar, and then we. Oh my god, we <laughs> we do have to go watch Avatar. <laughs> That's another fucking three-hour movie that yeah. we have to go see. Fuck. It has to be very. It has to be an event for it to be that big. You know, like Endgame, like works as a three-hour movie, or like something that like a Tarantino movie, I guess, or like say batman was coming out but it wasn't off the tracks of two other batmans <laughs> well if you think about it this was supposed to be an event this is the end of phase four really yeah so we're on phase five now yep then mm. that 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 is wow, phase four was phase pretty four. bad phase four was not good i think that this was probably my well i don't know this is probably on the same level as like Doctor Strange for me, to be honest. Like the new one, Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. I probably liked it about the same amount. The best Phase 4 I movie think I was would probably Spider-Man. I think, oh, oh yeah. Honestly, that is the only good one, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, not to say that like, Shang -Chi they're not was bad. Right. Oh, dude, they did the fucking, the Atlanteans did Kamehameha. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as their salute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did do that i think i liked this more than the first one though like i don't know i feel like it felt less like a marvel movie like there's like a little bit more going on to it like it like there's more themes at play well i don't know like, that's I don't know. not to say the first oh, one definitely also, had a lot going another on. another thing like, they like had they had the exact all right to in, like i thought it was a big failure to introduce ironheart's character getting in her suit that was way too reminiscent of tony stark's first builds of it and have her do this exact same thing that tony stark does on one of his fights where he flies <laughs> too high and i was like wow that's a really good way to differentiate the character by giving her the like literally spamming us with imagery of robert downey jr's arc i did like, want to talk face. about Ironheart because i feel like that is one of the more like one of the main criticisms that you see about her is that like She's literally just an Iron Man clone. Like she's yeah. not really like that differ differentiated from the character. Mm -hmm. But I did like that it was like, oh, she like also had an anime Iron Man suit. <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. <laughs> is that what her suit? Is there a suit that looks like that in the comics? Yeah, her suit was pretty accurate. Like the parts, it kind of looks like like an anime, like Mecha or some shit. The parts, the only difference, like because you know that it's like red and yeah black it's like you like the parts that were black are just the the regular iron man gold i don't i think it looked more anime in the movie when i'm looking i kind of like pictures. that they gave her a jet pack yeah that's why it looked anime to me like the little like spikes going oh, through really? her back yeah it also didn't look as sleek as it does in the comics no well it was it's her first design <laughs> yeah with wakandan technology kim 
I, I don't know. There was something that kind of worked for me about it, though, when she, like, flies up too high and passes out. That it was like, oh, they kind of have to learn the same things. Like, she doesn't know all the Iron Man tricks yet. Yeah. But well, I guess I can agree with it also being lazy that it's just, like, a retread. Yeah. But also, when she was flying in that suit, the the prototype one, I guess, and then there's, like, the big fucking crash, like... She definitely died from that. Like, her suit was not armored <laughs> enough. You're, you're telling me a Koye fucking like a little, a little like five four woman in like this huge hunking metal suit flies straight into the well, fucking all asphalt. Of, all of her internal <laughs> organs just got liquefied. <laughs> Like, see that's that's what i need in my marvel movies that if that happened in the movie yeah. i would have been sold wow. <laughs> <laughs> like okoye definitely died in that car crash no way sure he survives yeah, flying off that yeah. motorcycle everybody died in that fucking crash right there <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh damn but I don't know. Me being the shill for Marvel, I will say I am excited for the Ironheart series. Like I thought that she was like funny. I liked her personality. Like <laughs> maybe I, I just have my hopes high. I want it to be I, good, so I like have to yeah. do the mental gymnastics <laughs> to make myself excited. I didn't really but... think she was a character. I mean, okay. No, I, I agree. I she hope, wasn't I, a I character. Hope, I hope her character develops. Obviously, it'd be also. I don't know though. Like she was just comic relief. She didn't have an arc. Yeah. She didn't have like. I don't know. She doesn't have anything. I that feel she like wanted. I feel like I feel like investing in like a whole Ironheart side. Like okay, I'd, I'd maybe have Ironheart be more of a side character, but giving her own line of movies is just like it's the right. Show. It, yeah, it's like the right marketing move, right? It's like oh, Iron Man was so good. We gotta like keep on that. Yeah, I think that they're just like trying to like pass the torch, you know. But I feel like. But do they have to? Pa- I don't know. I feel like yeah, yeah. They could have done it with War Machine. But does every but also... single movie now need to be like, oh, this is the new one based off of like blah, blah, blah. It's like we we kind of like it can do some things different. I don't know. I think that that's the just the age of Marvel that we're about to go into is the like the legacy characters now. Like, yeah, how? Because it. That, that's ten the thing bucks. About... Ten bucks. We're gonna see like Chris Evans again in like four movies. <laughs> oh, or he's something. coming back eventually. Like for sure. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. is coming back eventually at some point. Like, mm-hmm. I wouldn't doubt it. The paycheck's gonna be big enough. Yeah. That's that's another thing that I was thinking about when like you said this when we weren't recording, but like DC has way cooler sidekicks. Like this DC... is where Marvel's falling apart. Is yeah. they like now that all their main their A listers are done, like. Who's going to carry on the torch? They don't really have the like yeah. sidekick characters to be able to do that. And they, you like them for a lot different reasons, too, than like the main cast of DC. I, yeah, I was saying that after. I, yeah, I remember saying that to you because as I might have alluded to recently in this and maybe other episodes, I watched Young Justice. I'm rewatching the original Batman. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Yes, rest in peace. I did um, actually want to bring that up, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's a very smooth voice. I do agree. Mm-hmm. It, it, that's that, that's that sucks. He was a fucking legend. But um, yeah, the sidekicks in DC are a lot more like they just they're just characters, you know. Like mm-hmm. in, in Marvel, I can't like sidekicks just aren't really the thing. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Like, cause I guess the the movie could help out flesh help flesh out her character because i know there's a lot of also okay i sorry i don't mean to interrupt you but i also before i forget the whole iron the whole iron heart thing it's weird how they didn't mention iron man once like oh you're making an iron man suit when the fbi it's it's like it's like everybody knows who iron man is like it's like very obvious it's like oh who's that it's like well, it's the, a uh, fucking other Iron Man. Like, are you dumb? Like, well, the, the when the FBI raids the warehouse, the guy goes, "Oh, she's got an Iron Man suit." Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, that was okay. that was the one line. I missed it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I guess but that like, was I, one like, reference. What, what, I feel like maybe she should have had more of a connection. Like, why did she build an Iron Man suit? So in the comics, in she... the comics, but in the movie, is like you're like it's just no, like, no, no, you know no. I mean? You're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. Like, why? 
Yeah. I guess we will find out during her show. But her oh, origin. Oh, a show, not a movie. Yeah, it's a show. Uh... It, I don't know if I, I should have looked this up, but the I don't know if it's the next show. But anyway, in the comics, her origin is that like she reverse engineers an Iron Man suit. So like somehow mm-hmm. she gets one. I, I've not read it. But somehow she gets one and is able to like figure out how it works and then she makes her own. Like yeah. And I'm pretty sure at this point in the comics too, Tony Stark was dead or he was just a hologram or something. Like there's a point where he like uploads his consciousness and he's just like an AI projection. Yeah. And then I think that's this is like that's the time in the comics when she like becomes Ironheart and like kind of takes over the mantle a little bit. Hmm. Um, no, the next one is Secret Invasion, actually, I believe. Okay, it says that She-Hulk was the final Phase 4 show. So Ant-Man will be Phase 5. Ant-Man will be the first Phase 5. So right off the bat, we we learn about Kang. Well, have you seen Loki? We kind of learn about Kang and Loki at the end of Loki. He's the one that's like the one who remains or whatever. That was Kang? Yeah, it's like, or a variant of Kang. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, so interesting. Secret Invasion, then Echo, then Loki season two, then Ironheart late 2023. Okay, we still have some time, but I know that they have finished filming the Ironheart show. That's the one where there were the rumors of Sasha Baron Cohen being Mephisto because the villain in the Ironheart show is the hood who has demon based powers. And apparently they saw Sasha Baron Cohen on set for okay. Ironheart. Another goofy, wacky Marvel product. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another thing I want to say about Ironheart too is she has the line that was I thought was so fucking stupid where Shuri was like, how'd you learn to do all this? Like, when did you build your first machine? And she's like, when I was three years old, <laughs> I was like... What the fuck? You, you know, like, you, what were you building? You built a, like a fucking motorcycle or engine or whatever she says when she was three years old. Like her dad just gave her some tools and she knew how to work them. What fucking father is giving their children t- power tools at three years old? Are you kidding me? That was stupid. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? One of like my... All right, so I, I, I will say I like... The first fa- or Spider-Man with um... Toby. No, 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 no. Oh, Tom Holland, the first Spider-Man. Tom Holland and Homecoming. Yeah, who the fuck was uh, Vulture? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah, I like that one. The second one was eh. Yeah. And then the third one was really good, but I remember very specifically, like speaking on like, like, come on, three years old. It's like one of those things. Like, yeah, I get it. You're so smart. It's like, but it's just like bad writing to like indicate that. Isn't I think it's either in the first Spider Man or like the second one where he's like, come on, like, uh, who is whoever the original director of Iron Man's? Isn't that his character? Am I getting him confused? Happy, happy. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he direct the original Iron Man? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He did John Favreau. He yeah. did one and two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's like, like happy blah blah blah. I got some algebra homework to do, and I'm like, but you you developed your own synthetic web, and you're on algebra. Like, <laughs> yeah, true. Maybe he's just really good at chemistry. Yeah, I mean maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Peter Parker should definitely be better than algebra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and same thing with that when she was like, oh, I'm in college and stuff, and blah blah blah, and you're like. Like what's the like? What are you doing? Like you could literally build robots and like like I don't I don't I don't get it. Making money off of homework scams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the Midnight Angel was also pretty lame looking. I did not like the design. And it's funny because even in the movie, they're like, "Yeah, that's a bad design." <laughs> yeah, they're like, "Well, we're gonna just stick they're with like, it." Like, that's pretty fucking ugly. You want me to wear that? And they're like, "Yeah." <laughs> it was like, "Well, I guess Wakanda has Iron Man's now." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the comics, the Midnight Angels are like the the sect of the Dora Milaje that is like super advanced. I mm-hmm. guess, like, I don't know. They get just like a subsection of the Dora Milaje. 
Is that just like the military of Wakanda? Or like, yeah, like yeah. the women soldiers. Yeah, okay, okay. And then they also had to have their... Uh, I, I don't know why Disney... Well, I know why they're making it a trope of the like obligatory lesbian kiss at the very end of the movie that they can easily edit out for foreign audiences like that's just like a fucking disney trope at this point i never even thought about that of course that's yeah they could edit that out for foreign audiences that's smart like they well i'm pretty sure i saw an article i mean it's it's smart of them it's just and and for us it's just like (laughs) man fuck off like (laughs) way to just shoehorn that one yeah like they did it in star wars they did it in the fucking lightyear movie like (laughs) <laughs> you're yep. clearly just pandering at this point <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude oh i'm pretty sure oh no they left it in in doctor strange but i mean that's actually part of the story i guess for america chavez's parents like I, th- that's this... still a, i still think that scene was hilarious <laughs> i also think it's hilarious <laughs> like they just ragdoll into the portal <laughs> she's like ah oh, the fucking b b that's so good (laughs) because of the b i forgot (laughs) but at least in that one it's like part of her character part of the story that she has two moms like it's hard to cut that out without like missing a part of her character that's that's the hard thing i think that like like you said like we're in that awkward like stage or like past like the people you know like like the passing of the torch yeah the passing of the torch is like Okay, so we got Doctor Strange. We have America Chavez as like a key player now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ironheart. Paul Rudd, I guess, is now like one of the top, like the main ones, but he's also like, he was like the supporting one in the other ones. Yeah. Which he like played into that role well. <laughs> but, but now he's a main one. Spider Man, who also like played well into the role of like the supporting character yeah support or not not even like or just like uh he he had he felt young right like he was like the apprentice to fucking iron man but now he's like he's spider-man now though he's the spider-man you're right you're right you're right i will take that knows he's peter parker he's poor as shit like he just made the suit like he's spider-man that's that's, that's a good ass point yeah (laughs) that last movie was pretty sick (laughs) i like the thing where i was like yeah the coolest part about spider-man is like his ability to overcome like those like shitty like grievances and still like do the right thing yeah i mean that's like kind of basic for all superheroes but like you know when it's just done right it's just like "Mm, because spider-man has the parker luck you know nothing can go right for him yeah exactly exactly and he can still do the right thing no matter what yeah, Spider Man is awesome. <laughs> Spider Man, <laughs> and we got into the Spider Verse soon. Across the Spider Verse, Part One, go, going the way around to the world of spiders. And finally, we get twenty ninety nine on the big screen, baby. Yeah, Miguel O'Hara, so cool. This is a long episode, but I still have more things to say. <laughs> it's been a while guys <laughs> it's been a while we gotta we got treat you guys with all the shit that's been cooped up in our heads exactly. since the last time we recorded <laughs> okay so spoilers once again can we talk about the end credit scene oh yeah it was Lil, Lil Ch- Ch- T'Challa <laughs> yeah so in the comics Black Panther does not have a son in the in the main timeline yeah there's one instance where he does have a son and it's with Storm because usually Storm is his like love interest in yeah. the comics. And so he does have a kid with Storm named Azari, Azazi, I think actually. Wait, I wrote it down. Hang on. <laughs> Azari, yeah. And it's it's set in an alternate universe. He has like fucking electric powers and it's in the it's called the next avengers it's like an animated movie where it's like the avengers kids or whatever i do not think that they're going down this route because this this character has never appeared in a comic it's literally on a straight to video animated movie yeah that he appeared on but i think that because they said that they weren't going to recast t'challa's or i mean chadwick boseman's black panther just because like just out of respect for him which I mean, there's both also, ways. Also, I will can... say, I, I, th- 
I really respect their decision not to create a CGI bastardized version. Of I Dan know. Chadwick I Boseman. really thought I, that they. Yeah. There's, there's <laughs> Disney. They fucking did it for Princess Leia. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like, well, I'm glad that they didn't do I'm that. I'm also glad that they didn't do it. But I feel like this is their way of. In the future, once they're done with Shuri being Black Panther, they're already kind of setting up that, like, okay. We're gonna have T'Challa Black Panther again without yeah. like recasting the character and like still being respectful to Chadwick Boseman. I feel like that's my that's my theory there. Yeah. Because he he says his name's T'Challa, so I think that they're just laying the groundwork for that when they're done with Shuri Black Panther, they can come they can back have and like, be like they can Oh, T'Challa, Black Panther, yeah. yeah. You know. I say I want like a fucking like flashpoint movie. Like and like either DC or like Marvel, where like the universe just explodes, and it's like, well, all that shit's done. <laughs> <laughs> I I do think that's how Secret Wars is going to shake out. I think yeah. like if they're gonna shatter everything and have to like kind of rebuild it. They're gonna be able to roll in Deadpool, and who knows? Maybe Hugh Jackman stays Wolverine. We we don't know. This is a possibility, but I doubt it. No, nah, bro, it can't be. I don't think. It, all right, you know, yeah, but if, really even if even if they would. do, it's just like, ah, oh, guys, that's so tone deaf, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially with like a good send off of Logan. Uh-huh. But I feel like that. I feel like Deadpool three is good because it's like there's been that joke for a while, and they're t- like they're two good pairings. It's something we've always wanted. Well, to yeah, see. Wolverine has always been like a a weird tie to deadpool for a minute now and ryan reynolds also has the ties with hugh jackman like they're friends in real life yeah. and there's been all the hugh jackman jokes in the previous deadpool movies yep. like it only makes sense that's not egregious but if he keeps coming back yeah but i do think that secret wars is going to shake out with them like it's going to be secret wars where dr <laughs> doom's going to remake everything i want edward norton hulk <laughs> They do kind of reference Edward Norton Hulk at She-Hulk. Really? Oh, no. Wasn't it like... Yeah, how did they reference it? So it was like, like, I was a different person back then. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, literally or something like because, that. It's because because she has to represent Emil Blonsky. And she's talking to Hulk. And he like... She's like, well, like you also destroyed half the city while you were fighting him. And he's like, I was a different person back then. Literally. You also used to be kind of a cool Hulk that wasn't like this soy boy scientist, big green guy. Maybe that's another thing, dude. They all right, if they they need to blow up the universe so we can have like an actual Hulk movie where Hulk is just this raging, terrifying monster. I think that they'll get back to him. I think that they'll bring him back to his roots when they introduce Red Hulk, because that's definitely coming. There's no reason that they would put Harrison Ford in that role without being like, all right, is it doing still Red is Hulk. it still going to be that same actor though? Well, William Hurt died, so they recast. No, 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 no. Um, Mark Ruffalo as Mark Hulk? Ruffalo, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think he's gonna be Hulk forever. But like, he could be. I like rageful. him. I like him as. I like him. He's as a, a good Bruce Banner. <laughs> he is. A, yeah, you know, he is a good Bruce Banner. But like, give me fucking. I don't need Mark. Yeah, Hulk. I don't need Mark Ruffalo Hulk. No, no, I don't want him That's to be Hulk. Because I was gonna say I don't hate him as an actor. Like I like him. Like, yeah, he's good on a uh, Shutter Island. And Zodiac was he in Zodiac? So yeah, the David Fincher one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he was. I think you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, was, or no, Robert Downey Jr. is also in that movie too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he is. Detectives. Um, <laughs> they are the detectives, right? I can't even remember. It's been a minute. Yeah. Correct us, please. We should. We could just be way off and fucking those. <laughs> um, it's okay all of our listeners dropped off at about the three second mark so no yeah. one's making it this far <laughs> uh, that's good damn this has been a minute of this a long um, this has been a long episode yeah i was like oh i hope we have enough to talk about with this movie yeah I don't know. I liked it more than the first one. Not that the first one didn't have as much to say because obviously the first one had some like important things to say, but the first one just feels like a generic ass Marvel movie to me, you know, like it's just like, I mean, at least we don't get his origin story. He's already Black Panther, but I don't know. No, you you get his origin story. 
Yeah, kind of because he has to like go do back the, and do the do the heart shaped herb stuff. Mm-hmm. But and his dad was the Black Panther. Yeah, but that was like Civil War. I feel like I count Civil War kind of more as his like introduction, I guess. And then he's like full on Black Panther already going into the first one. Yeah, I don't know. Well, just I don't like the the end of that movie either. Like it's just like the big CGI fight. Like literally, go back and watch the fight between him and Killmonger at the end. It looks like an Xbox, like an original Xbox cutscene. Like. It looks horrible. Yeah. And I like the the movie just I feel like clicked with me a little bit better because it was more of that depressing tone that we haven't seen in Marvel, I I guess, in a while. Yeah. And the end fight was actually cool and not just a video game cutscene. Yeah, that's a good point. <clears throat> yeah, I think they did the relationship between Sherry and Neymar well. And you're right, like like uh, what I was saying at the beginning too, when I meant like it was a more risky thing mm-hmm. for them to do, like not as safe, like marketably, I guess. Oh, that's another thing. But it was too. like, yeah, it was, it was, it it's it was still tame. It was still vanilla, but it wasn't the same tame and vanilla Marvel shit we've seen. Mm-hmm. And you could tell that like most of the actors and stuff and the people behind it like actually cared about it. Mm-hmm. Not that like. The people don't actually care about it, but like, I don't know if you watch fucking, I don't know, Eternals, but those, yeah. those, those, those actors don't care about those characters. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like you, you think fucking, you know what I was thinking the other day? I was like, cause you know how like Dwayne the Rock Johnson was like, oh, I was so pumped to be Black Adam, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. Um, I was wondering like how much this isn't to out fucking the rock, the legend. <laughs> um, but like I wonder how many times like just for marketing or like they're like, all right, in this interview say that you've been wanting to play this person for a long time because it builds hype for people to come see the movie. Well, the rock because like sometimes you can really see because like like yeah, I don't know about No, like, you can like, tell when they like don't care about the characters. Uh-huh. I think The Rock did care about playing Black Adam. Not that the the actors in the Eternals didn't care about their characters or anything, but like with this movie, there was a lot of like emotional weight behind it because they all most of these actors have played these characters before, and they are all, I, everybody's I bet, dealing with the don't. death of the main character. Could you? What's what's? Do you know any of the eternal names? I feel like that's a hard question to ask you. I want to ask someone. <laughs> I do. I do I want, know. I want to ask. Their names. I want to ask someone who has only seen the movie and knows nothing about the comics. <laughs> I know the guy that is Rob Stark is Icarus, and oh, actually, that might be the only one I know off the top of my head is Icarus. I can remember that one. <laughs> like Kid Icarus. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> that's actually the only one I know off the top of my head. Fuck that movie. I hate the Eternals. That's easily the worst the worst Marvel movie. <laughs> I kinda how long is that one? Ooh, it's close to the this one in the rum runtime department. Stop making long movies. I mean not entirely, but you know, like two stop hours making and long, 36 minutes. Stop making long movies that are like don't need to be this long. It's oh, fucking boring. Ajax is the name of another Eternal. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Just popped in my head. Yeah, still pretty, I would say above average Marvel movie. Yeah. Wasn't the worst, wasn't the best. <laughs> yeah. I would give it like a seven and a half, maybe. I feel like it, it it does have the emotional weight to just push it up just a little bit more. Yeah, I give it like a six, I think. Okay, that's fair. Are would you are you compelled to see more of Namor and Shuri, Black Panther, and? Ironheart, are you excited to see any of these I'm characters more, return? I'm ex- I'm most excited to see Namor return. I agree. I think there. I think Sh- Sherry wasn't that interesting to me, but I think her relationship with Namor was the most like 
interesting aspect about it. Ironheart, I really didn't care for it at all. <laughs> I'm more interested to see how like I'm like if I'm thinking about future things, I'm more excited to see how Wakanda and like the Atlanteans like develop. interact. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I feel like they're always going to be kind of tied together now. Mm-hmm. But I feel like to me also Shuri is interesting going forward. Because I felt like, I don't know, obviously you could write. Her, her her Black Panther design was really cool. Yeah, she does have a cool Black I, Panther design. Yeah, I thought her suit was pretty awesome. I think that like, obviously they probably could have found some way to give Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther some character development. But like, yeah. as it stands, it seems like he was a pretty like full character, I guess. Like, yeah. I don't know, like... I feel like I'm interested in seeing like Shuri develop more and like there's like potential for her character to grow. Yeah. I don't know. Does it, does that make sense? That makes sense. That makes sense. I feel like I am like Chadwick Boseman was phenomenal, but I feel like I just wasn't where, where would they have taken his character? I yeah. don't know. Is that, is that a bad thing to say? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. It just felt like his character had almost been like self-actualized, you know? Like he was, what else did he have to learn? They could have made another movie like Thor, Love and Thunder. <laughs> Where they just reset his character for no reason. <laughs> Where he's just causing a bunch of collateral damage. Like, God damn it, Thor. I thought you learned that in the first one. <laughs> that was his whole arc in the first one. Was to, to not like to value life and not create. All right, you, all right, you you think Eternals was worse than that movie? That movie was fucking. Oh, the Eternals God was awful. way worse. Eternals is easily the worst one. I, but, but did it make you? Cr- I don't know. Dub and Thunder made me cringe like while watching okay. it. Like it's very hard for a movie to make me <laughs> be a, like ah. <laughs> it's a different kind of bad because the. The Thor movie was super fucking cringe, but... My favorite part was when they ripped off Thor's clothes. That was so funny. (laughs) (laughs) At least that one has, like, an identity. Fucking Eternals is... All of these heroes have powers that we've seen been done better from other characters. Like, fucking I can't even remember their names. Mm -hmm. It, It is literally a chore to watch that movie at (laughs) least like (laughs) it was a chore to watch love and thunder i had to finish it in two nights (laughs) but at least love and thunder is like kind of lighthearted and goofy and it can like i don't know i feel like there's some entertainment schumer (laughs) can make you laugh a little bit no it's not amy schumer it's fucking oh she was in ghostbusters what's her name no she wasn't she wasn't it it wasn't she, she was Schumer. she was fucking the enemy from yeah in, in the play in the play are you I know sure what you're it talking wasn't about. amy schumer no it's melissa mccarthy no way it was yeah. amy schumer i guarantee you yes oh, melissa, melissa mccarthy, McCarthy. Oh, that's not as bad actually <laughs> i don't that's not as bad i thought it was amy schumer for some reason but and also thor love and thunder's not even breaking two hours eternals is two hours and 38 minutes of so fucking <laughs> boring. We were just like, please end it all. I want to no, fucking stop I did, watching. This I movie. did put the Eternals on the list for the podcast because you haven't seen it, right? I have not seen I it. I was like, no. I'm making Connor watch this fucking movie. <laughs> and like, I think that there's some, like, Eternals is like pretty important going forward. Um, we just fucking keep extending the length of this episode, but <laughs> fucking the. We've been talking about how shitty phase four was like if you think about it comparatively to like the the infinity saga, right? Like uh-huh. phase one is s- mostly set up, right? Like yeah. setting up everything going forward. Like that was such a strong foundation. Like if phase four is the setup that we have going forward for this like multiverse saga. I don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it going to be able to stand or will it crumble? We'll see. Well, it'll crumble, but it will still make money and we'll still see it regardless. <laughs> yeah, true. We'll still cover it. It's just and- like it's just like the Sonic games. It's like every single one that comes out is a broken piece of garbage. <laughs> but somehow, <laughs> somehow it makes so much money and they're like, we can do it again, guys. <laughs> and Pokemon. Pokemon. And too. Pokemon, yeah. All right. Fuck, I just, 
I can't. I <laughs> I, I gotta know. I gotta be the shill for the franchise. I know it's not good for the consumer, but like, I'm sorry, I gotta know what happened. <laughs> but like, <laughs> do we all boycott Marvel <laughs> in, in the no. hopes that it becomes good? I say we don't boycott Marvel. Because, you know, sometimes a fun movie's fun. I say we boycott Game Freak in every Pokemon <laughs> game. <laughs> but I have to catch them all. I can't. You can, you can catch them all in so many different ways, Cameron. There's Pokemon You can still give them money in different ways. <laughs> but just don't fund that part. The animation is like But you gotta right, catch you know? all of them on the games. You've already caught that same Pikachu model for Forge games. I'm not going for the Pikachu model. No, I thought you had to ones. catch him all. I already okay. have the old ones. I need the new ones. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, we need to end this episode. We, I, I have nothing else to say about Black Panther. Um, we're watching Upgrade. Upgrade is next. Yeah, coming on for, Wednesday for a sci-fi season that we are currently doing. Um, as always, we appreciate you guys listening. If you made it this far, <laughs> I, I hope that somebody made it this far. Yeah, you lone listener out there, thank you. Yeah, the the one person. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, until next time. Bye-bye.